And my car is looking a little better this morning, although we know that's probably icy. And I've got some shoveling to do because tomorrow is garbage day. Well, that's exciting. Don't know if you can see that. Yay, I wasn't expecting that. And there he goes. Quite the art. And round the corner. And up. Watch this. And back. He's got this down to a fine art. This guy's done this before. Do not dump it on my driveway. <laughs> oh, he dumps it on people's gardens. How kind is that? You know, the amazing thing is that I actually remember picking up my snow boots and thinking, I won't need those. I wonder what I'm going to shovel snow with. <laughs> well, this is amazing. You can see I've got my comforter in there. But what you don't know is underneath there, and still with room to spare, underneath there I have got two days worth of pants or trousers in England um, and t-shirts and other dark things. You know, my <laughs> I was just going to do those and I thought it'd be interesting to see. Actually, you know what I'm going to do though is I'm going to make it do a deeper wash because It has got some water on it, but I think it needs, I'm gonna, it has the ability to do what they call a deep water wash, which will give it more water, which I think it needs. We'll see. Didn't put much more in, did it? <laughs> I now know two things. Why there is a bush planted there and with a red signal next to it. And why there is a bush planted there. It's so when it snows, the snowplow guy can see where the edge of that planter box is along the front. Ha! Got it. Well, I wasn't expecting that. But the good news is it will help clean the pillars. I'm going to turn them over in a minute. Um, one of the things I read about cleaning upholstery and carpets is it's a really good idea to do it in the snow. Um, so what I'm going to do, as long as it, they stay frozen like that, that's fine. So I'm going to shake them off, turn them over, all of them, and they'll all get a really nice dry cleaning. Well, <laughs> I'm about to go back out and do some more snow removal. This is when my electric snow blower uh, and my winter boots, the ones that I shovel snow with, um, or in, um, are at the other house. But you know me, make a plan. And I thought I'd make it fun, and by, uh, I've done a little bit already, but I thought I would show you the difference between using a tiny little snow shovel that they kindly left for me, um, and a broom. And <laughs> socks would have been a good idea. And here's the plan, because I'm not altogether stupid, I literally am going out and I'm doing enough until I start to feel the cold and then I come in and I warm up doing stuff and then I go back and do the next little bit. You see, it's all about one step at a time, you know, that's how I live. 
and I can do this. I just want to get it done before it starts to freeze because it's going to be an ice rink when it freezes and I won't be able to do it with my runners. Hang on. <laughs> These are my new snowshoes um, <laughs> without socks. <laughs> I can do this. Where there's a will, there's a way. Come with me. We will start with the shovel. And this is the dangerous bit. And you're wondering why is it dangerous? Because I've got ice on the bottom of my runners and then I'm walking onto <laughs> a laminate floor. Think about that. Now I'm going to get warm and I'll go out and do the same thing again. See you in a bit. So I just put a little bit of that basil on first and while that's warming up, which it's doing right now, I just take one egg Just a splash of milk I normally would add <laughs> salt and pepper but you know where they are and it's not here in the other house. For those of you who don't know, I'm in the process of moving. And I have rented the place that I'm buying for a month so that I can move the small stuff in a little bit every day. And then I got snowed in. All right, so here we go. I'm now just going to pour that onto the surface and it will sort of level itself out. But luckily I'm a camper, <laughs> so I bought some tin food and I did buy it to bring some basics with me as well. So I'm very proud of myself for that because I would not have found this very easy had I not done that. So as you can see, that's one egg, one uh, marble cheese slice. And next, um, I just really want to thank Benji for teaching me that when you're dealing with eggs, don't overcook them. In other words, this doesn't look like it's cooked at all on top. 
But as soon as it's capable of being moved, which it isn't quite yet, it's getting there, but it isn't quite this bit is better. But as soon as it's capable of being, being moved, I'm going to turn it on top of it, each other, and then the heat within it will cook the rest of the egg. And you can probably see that the cheese is beginning to melt, so I know that it's getting pretty well heated up. Now, as I said, this would be easier with my other spatula, but I don't have it, so we're going to do the best we can. There we go. And then I'm just going to leave it for a little bit, just so that the warmth can cook the rest of it. And that part of me that wants it to be perfect for you is busy trying to keep the cheese in when it's melting. Yeah, all right, sir. So then, once you've done that, you just literally oops, put it onto your plate and you have a really, really nice omelette. Now, this, I just turn off, let it cool down a bit and literally just wipe it clean. It's so easy. Oh, you want to see what this is like inside? That's it. Just perfect. And so, so nice and tender to eat. It's not hard. So I love it for making omelets. And thank goodness I thought to bring it with me. Mind you, I do have a frying pan, so that would have worked. <laughs> but not nearly as much fun. And you know my life is all about one step at a time having fun while I do it. Okay, I'm going to eat this and then I'm back out to shovel some more snow. And this is what it was called, and I'll put a link to it uh, in the notes below. Okay, so this is the funny part. Um, you know, whenever I do videos with my phone, I know that my camera is in the top left-hand corner. Except to do that video, I turned it around, and apparently the camera has been... The, the eye is in the bottom right-hand corner, so I've been talking to you up there and you're in fact down here which is why you love me because <laughs> I never get it right do I and that's what makes it fun thought I'd show you I've brought the cushions in and it looks like I'm having a giant slumber party here um, but I thought it was a good idea just to bring them in and let them dry off before they get wet at the moment they're just frozen um, and so now they can just dry nicely Actually, I should bring that in so that can as well, but it's not a critical. Um, now, some of you are going, somebody would have thought to do that yesterday. Mm -hmm. And again, as I said, say to you so often, that's why you love me, because I don't do it the right way, ever. But I do it. Look at the sunshine. Oh, no, it's not. It's light. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. I had my proper duster for my... Um, broom thing um, in the wash and so I used a tea towel and it was amazing how much dust was in my house I was quite embarrassed but that's not what I wanted to show you hold on one second so here we have it this was all in one load a comforter a throw um, some reusable I make my own um, reusable panty liners uh, and the inserts for them um, the brush head for my broom. Um, you see what we've got here. We've got a t-shirt, pants, a jacket, a sleep shirt, and <laughs> that dust is from, I accidentally put that dirty tea towel on there. Duh. <laughs> and one, two, and I know there's another tea towel underneath, and a cleaning rag, 
as well. So you tell me how many washing machines do you know that can take a full comforter? That's a queen size comforter. That uh, is pretty impressive. I had clean forgotten that I put in the throw and then all the rest of it as well. I want to show you if it had just done the throw and the rest of it, I would have been impressed, but yay for the bravas. I'm not getting paid, people know that. So I just wiped that down with a wet face cloth, because I use face cloths in my kitchen, um, instead of paper towels a lot. And there we have it. It's uh, just going to dry, and once it's dry, I will put it away. And you know, sometimes it's a really good idea not to look at the weather forecast. And because what I just read is that there is going to be a problem with extremely high winds, some more snow, and in fact the winds are going to be so high <laughs> and that they are warning that things like shingles coming off the roof and trees coming down on top of your house are expected. How about that? <laughs> so I managed to beat a path all the way to the road. Now you're probably wondering why do that, so? Well, because the guy's coming tomorrow and he can, I'm pretty sure he's got a four-wheeled truck, um, but then he can just open the door and be able to walk. There's another reason at my age, I'm 72, what if an ambulance needs to get a gurney down there? So I'm always aware of trying to clear enough space so in an emergency uh, I could be looked after. Now, of course, what's going to happen is there's going to be this high wind coming tonight that's probably going to totally cover all this up. But at least I tried. The other thing I did was I brought in a carpet that I found outside and I put it here because definitely coming in and slipping on the laminate is not something I want to continue to do, so that will obviously dry in a little while. And I've got my shoes next to the next to the fireplace. But I will say one thing. Actually, I'm probably going to put them into the washing machine and dryer so that they can um, get rid of the salt. It, but, but I have to tell you, I know you won't believe me, but I did this in bare feet and those, and I was not cold. Now, I didn't stay out for very long at a time, maybe, you know, 10 minutes or so, but because, you know, I was doing one step at a time. But that was pretty impressive. Okay, I'm going to put these and let them wash and dry so that uh, they're not ruined by salt. I put them on hand wash because I don't want them to be ruined. I just want them rinsed more than anything. In fact, I could actually just do rinse and spin. That's just what I've done, rinse and spin. By the way, that cloth there, um, I found outside, obviously when they were cleaning, they left it, and it was solidly frozen, so I'm just gonna give that a quick rinse as well. <laughs> Whatever dirt was in there is gonna be gone. Well, some of you may remember this pot from the very first day I moved in. It seems like a month ago, but it was a couple of days ago, because it had blown over. And then I felt really badly about it because it was obviously dry enough that it was that light. And so I fed it some water. And that's the ice maker. Anyway, so then... <laughs> The next day I went and had a look at it, and you know what you do, you sort of feel the leaves and you went, that isn't even a real plant. So today when I was pulling <laughs> the cushions inside, you know, a day too late, um, I saw there was this thing hanging off it. And it's a real <laughs> So now I've brought it from freezing temperatures outside to hot temperatures, so we know all the leaves are going to fall off. But I don't know where to put it 
to, you know, as an interim period. Maybe in the spare bedroom, which I don't think is as hot. Uh, what the heck, it'll adjust. <laughs> if it doesn't adjust, I'll get another one. But can you believe that I thought it was fake? And you know, if you feel the leaves, they feel fake. And it's even got little... I know so. But I thought they were fake ones. Thank you.